spilling the tea on to interview them podcast. That's what it's called. To interview them, yeah. To interview them? yeah. Huh. You didn't even know the name of the podcast no, before you came on. Uh oh, my bad. Anyway, but now I think. What, what if I was gonna murder you? I would have done it in eighth grade. I hated you in eighth grade. Oh my gosh. That makes sense. I kind of hated myself in eighth grade. I hated myself too in eighth grade. And ninth grade and tenth grade and eleventh grade. Twelfth grade? I'm getting better. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had like a huge era where I hated myself in seventh and eighth grade. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it kind of went into ninth grade. Maybe a little bit of tenth. Maybe a tiny bit of eleventh. Maybe. Maybe still going on. <sighs> Just occasionally. I'm way better at it, though. Uh-huh. Like, I gained my self-confidence a lot. Okay, wait. It pl- Okay, it goes in waves. Do you ever get that? Yeah. yeah, yeah like, yeah. your self-confidence goes in waves. And it's so difficult because makeup is a huge thing with that. Mm. I'm like, I used to wear, like, just mascara, and now I'm like, let's do a whole routine. Except I don't cover my zits very well. That's, that's like, the main point. Mm. But I don't do that because I'm... The winged eyeliner is fun. I like it. I really like it. I think it looks cool. Very, very quirky. And then, like, whenever I want to feel pretty, I'm like, I have to have winged eyeliner, if mm. that makes sense. But that's not, shouldn't be that way. Sometimes yeah. I find myself pretty without makeup, but it's really difficult mm-hmm. to get that, if that makes sense. So I've been working hard at it. Actually, sometimes I just go with no makeup anywhere. But, like, to people I really want to impress, it's really hard for me to, like, not wear makeup, if that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't know. I know, but... I mean, do you have anything similar to that, though? Um, I mean... I don't know. I Mostly it's about... I, I get... Everything I hate about myself is how much work I do. Like, like, if I don't... I'm always thinking I'm not doing enough in everything. Like, I'm not learning enough. I'm not working out enough. I'm not reading enough i'm not writing enough i'm not doing anything enough i'm not making enough money i'm not doing anything enough like like that's that's how it is for me i understand that and and so it's just and like it's so because on one hand like i am able to to rationalize like oh yeah you're you're not working out as much as you can possibly possibly can, but you're you're comfortable enough and you're making progress. That's all that matters. But and but with stuff like I I had a vision of where I would be at this time and I'm not there. And so there are times like there are things in my life where I'm like I can very accurately tell myself, "Hey, you're not being there enough." And I just have to give it over to other people, to like people I trust, to to say, hey, you are enough. Yeah. Not to stop, because you you have to make progress over time, but just you don't have to worry about making so much progress.